Good morning, adventurers. Good morning. This is our final day in Zurich. We're going to be very sad to leave tomorrow, but we are going to be heading to Poland. Yeah, uh, which for is, the very first time. Yeah, another first country for us, so that's going to be amazing. But today we're going to do sort of an impromptu food tour. We uh, found some cool places we wanted to check out. It's going to be basically like a Zurich food tour, so we're going to show off some unique places in the city, but also I think we're going to try some Swiss food as well. Yes. There are we'll a few dishes we're super excited about. Some traditional, maybe some not so traditional, but all completely Zurich. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. So we are headed to our first place now, and we are hungry, and we need some coffee. So the first place we've come to is called Cafe Schober. It is in kind of the middle of the old town, but it's a very quaint place. It was originally opened in, I think, like the mid 1800s. And when you go on the inside, it's very charming and it's almost like got this stuck in time sort of vibe. But they have all sorts of sweet things you can get. You can get breakfast here. Um, we've already eaten a little bit of breakfast at our uh, hotel, so we just wanted to get a little snack. So we got, um, something here we're not exactly sure what it is fruit streusel but i don't know what kind of fruit is in there yeah so this will be exciting <laughs> yeah it's a little more dense than i thought i thought it was more like cakey but it looks awesome and then we got ice latte yeah Ding. Okay. guys i was so thirsty i just destroyed my latte and allison hasn't even taken a sip false i actually just spilled the entire thing right here <laughs> and all over my shoes we're off to a good start today. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what to expect, but I see some hard crust stuff on the top, some like powdered sugar, I think, and then maybe some kind of eggy type of goo in the inside custard or something, maybe. There's also some little chunks of uh, some kind of fruit or something, or jam or something on the inside. Oh, definitely custard. It's very sweet, but it's really good. I think we're gonna be wired after this, after this coffee and all these sweets. <laughs> We're gonna need to eat some proper food after this, but it's really good. You guys, I just tried this and it is amazing. It almost tastes like um, like a peach cobbler or something like that with yeah, it's the got fruit in there. Chunks of, I think, apricot in there is what yeah. we're guessing, but it's real nice. We're on our way back to our hotel. We're actually going to meet up with Adrian who is from Zurich Tourism. We're gonna to be hanging out with him today. He's going to take us to lunch, I think. He uh, planned a very cool lunch for us, and then I think we're gonna go swimming yeah. and on the uh, river. Yeah, because there are a ton of swimming holes. Some of them are for, or I think one of them is for female, one of them is for men, and the rest of them are mixed. So I think we're gonna to go to one of the mixed ones today. Yes. That's a big thing people do here when the weather's nice, they go swimming. We have arrived at our next spot. It is called the Hiltel. Now we are on the one that's on Longstrasse and they have a few of these places all over Zurich. The original one was first opened in 1898. So that makes it the world's oldest vegetarian restaurant. Yeah. So that's kind of the place's claim to fame. And that's it's one of the big the, reasons why we wanted to come here. Yeah, it's in the Guinness Book World Record for that. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. When you come in, it has this amazing buffet. It has all sorts of cuisines. Swiss cuisine that has like a lot of Thai food, Indian food. So much stuff, it's really hard to decide. Oh my gosh, <laughs> and it's all amazing and all vegetarian, so you can feel kind of good about your lunch, right? So we picked out a bunch of stuff. We're just gonna share a plate because we have a lot of food to eat today, so we don't wanna overdo it. Yes. They've also got some really nice juices here. This one that I picked out is uh, basil and melon, I think, like cantaloupe in there. Yeah. And then which one did you get? This is just raspberry and, oh, thyme? Oh, this looks, it looks really interesting. Yeah. So these are just flavored waters, but they have lots of like smoothies and juices and coffees and all sorts of stuff. Up first, I'm going to try, it's a vegetarian tartare called the Hiltel Tartare. I believe it's aubergines, there's capers, is it beetroot as well? And there's even some okra in there somewhere. It looks, I'm impressed, it already looks like beef. That is really nice. It surprisingly has the beefy texture to it, like the raw beef, but the flavors are really nice. The capers are great in there. It gives it a little spark in the acidity. Now you guys know we are not vegetarians, but um, anytime, I'm always skeptical anytime they're trying to like recreate a meat dish for vegetarians. Mm -hmm. Would you say it's on par or not quite? I mean, it's definitely not beef, but 
it's, I mean, the best alternative I think you could ever ask for. It's amazing. So this next thing that I wanted to try, these are little uh, cutlets and it's cashew, ginger, and beetroot, I think, in there. There's also these little green guys in there that kind of look like capers. So it's definitely a little like, um, kind of falls apart. Has kind of a grittiness in the look anyway. Get a big old bite. Maybe might be peas or something. There's a lot of seasoning going on in there. It's really nice. It, I guess it's trying to taste like a meat item, but it, it really does. The texture isn't quite meat, but the taste is really nice. You don't taste any beet root flavor to it, because I think it's just like overloaded with all these spices that make it taste really nice. Lunch was absolutely amazing. It's really hot out though, so we thought of the perfect activity. We're gonna go swimming in the Limac River. Check it out, you guys. So I guess we're gonna go change and then we're gonna walk up past where we are right now and then float all the way back down. It looks very refreshing. Everyone's having a great time. I cannot wait to get in there. So we're at the pool and apparently this is what you have to do to get to the other end to float down. <laughs> Wasn't quite prepared for this. We're working for a float. It reminds me of when we were in Bali and we went canyoneering on accident. Yeah. <laughs> but it's so Let's much not repeat fun, that. Right? We've got a swing on this bridge, but <laughs> sure as heck can't reach it. Dang. <laughs> So the current just pushes you into this metal gate at the opposite end. So you gotta stop yourself. Try not to let your limbs go through it. Nailed it. <laughs> this is so weird. We're just pushing against yeah, this. You push your legs straight and then the current pushes you so you like get to lay. It's almost like laying out, but in the it's current. Really weird. If you get sideways at all, it just takes you. <laughs> You're gone. <laughs> enough horsing around for you, sir. Okay, after all that swimming, we stopped off for a sweet treat. And I think Adrian's gonna explain to us what it is, because he knows best. Yeah, it's hard to play, uh, describe in English because it's a typical Swiss dish. It's called bay in German, kind of a tart. You can either have it sweet or salty. This one is a rhubarb version of it. We have lots of fruits, dough which is filled up with some hazelnuts, the fruits, and then a special sauce with eggs, milk, vanilla. I don't think Eric's ever had rhubarb before, so... Uh, no, I have not. I'm excited to see what he thinks about it. Yeah. I'm really excited to try this because uh, I'm not going to say it looks that appetizing, but I'm guessing it's going to be. I've never had rhubarb in my life. I'm not even sure exactly what it is. It's really gooey. Didn't take much force to cut it. Just... Mm. Oh, that is interesting. The dough on the bottom is really tasty and gooey, but the layer on top just kind of like falls apart. So it's like two completely different type of textures. Yeah, it's, it's really eggy. Egg it's kind of like um, quiche a little bit. Yep. I thought it was going to be really sweet, but it's kind of, it's not that sweet. It doesn't taste like a dessert necessarily. This is something you can eat for breakfast if you want to. Oh, you have it for lunch as well. Yeah. Salt version and sweet version you have it for, for lunch, yeah. Well, all right, yeah. pretty good. We have parted ways with Adrian. Um, we parted in the uh, western part of Zurich. I think it's called West Zurich. Yeah, but, it's uh, this like really kind of cool, hip, up and coming, yeah. artsy area. Yeah, a lot As of you bars can and stuff. See behind us, it has some really cool installations around here. Yeah, so this one's pretty famous. It's like that street in Bucharest that we found when we were in Romania, but they have all these different types of umbrella kind of lining the ceiling. Yeah, I can't decide if I like the all the the rainbow ones or the the multicolored ones. They're yeah. both very cool. The place that we're at now is called uh, Frau Gerald's, I think is how it's pronounced. We're not exactly sure, <laughs> but the whole place is made of a bunch of containers. So it's like a container park, but there's a bunch of bars, there's shops, there, I think you can get food around here. Oh, yeah. We're not quite hungry yet, so I think we're just gonna chill here and get a drink.
so before dinner we're grabbing a little appetizer we came to a place called the raclette factory now raclette is a type of cheese that we have never had before the way they serve the cheese here in switzerland is they melt it they scrape it off a giant block of raclette cheese and put it on top of potatoes and they serve it with some vegetables i have a gherkin here and a little baby corn and then they put onions on the side y'all i'm a little on the fence with this because the smell is pretty potent but i'm gonna try the little onion let's get a big old hunk of cheese here we let it cool down for a second so it solidified a bit more than maybe some yeah, people yeah it was would like, like basically it. molten when oh, yeah. they served it so it you gotta like let it cool down for cheese a second soup at first okay it's just the smell of the cheese is it's pretty funky so let's see how this goes oh I judged the cheese too soon. It is very stinky, but the taste is amazing. It's really salty and creamy, and it's kind of tangy almost, a pretty sharp cheese, I'd say. And then it's great with the the potato and then a little bit of the like pickled onion. I imagine the pickle would be really good too. That's really good. Yeah, I can eat bad, this as a, like a whole meal. If you put a couple hunks of like uh, sausage on there or something, then we'd be talking. We're going to be heading to our dinner spot in just a bit, but we've just been exploring the city a little bit since it's our final night here. Oh my gosh, you and guys, these alleyways are amazing. And yeah. there's nobody down there. Yeah, we've had this. them all to we ourselves. We have this whole alley to ourselves, so we got to sit here and get all the photos we wanted. It's we've great. Been, yeah, Instagram missions galore. You guys will have to check it out because some of our Instagrams from today are pretty dang cool. Yeah, Zurich they were a lot of fun. Very photogenic. On the screen, we'll put our Instagram handle so you guys can follow us up there and see how all the photos turned out. For dinner, we're heading to this spot right behind us. It's called Zughaus Keller. Zughaus Keller, I think. Okay. This place came highly recommended. It's very popular among tourists, but it's also very popular among locals. We had locals specifically tell us that even though it's touristy, the food is still very, very good. Yeah. So we're very excited to check it out. It's a super old restaurant, but they serve super traditional Swiss food. In fact, I think we're going to try some Zurich specific dishes tonight. Yeah. I'm very excited. We've just sat down and the placemats say that this place was built in 1487, even before Columbus had discovered America. <laughs> it's That's real old. old. Yeah, this is what you guys got? <laughs> oh my God, you're doing it right. These guys over here literally ordered a sword with meat on it. That's it, that <laughs> was it. <laughs> All right. It looks and smells amazing. First up, we got a traditional dish from here in Zurich. It's veal mixed with cream, wine, onions, and mushrooms. And it's like in this amazing reduction. It looks almost like a, a veal stew. It comes with this traditional side of rosti. That's also not a very great pronunciation, but that's okay. It's grated potatoes that are then pan fried. And it looks pretty similar to what we know as like breakfast hash browns. And then we got, of course, a sausage. I think they said it's a regional combination of pork and beef and spices, and it looks huge and delicious. And then instead of roasty with that one, we ended up getting a bunch of grilled veggies. All right, I'm really excited. I'm just gonna try the veal on its own. I'll get a little mushroom in there. So it actually tastes a lot like beef stroganoff, but instead of beef, it's got the veal in there, which the veal is way more tender, less chewy. It's really savory and hearty. I didn't mix it with the potatoes yet, but I can only imagine how much more amazing it's gonna be with them. So I'm just gonna cut into this sausage. It just kind of pops when you put your knife into it. Looks really good. The table comes with this awesome side of mustard. It's super creamy in there. And I'm gonna plop this right on top of my sausage. This might have been too big of a piece. <laughs> Never. Well, that mustard was spicy. It's got horseradish in it. Oh, wow. 
That might have been a mistake. <laughs> oh. Wow. That was a lot of horseradish. You put quite the dollop on there, dude. Yeah, that was a lot. I'm sweating. <laughs> Legit. <laughs> the sausage is super simple, but super delicious. Lots of flavor. The outside has that like casing that pops when you bite into it. It's really nice. The mustard is actually awesome, but I'm just gonna put a little dollop on there next time, not a whole heaping scoop. That was a big mistake because <laughs> it pretty much overtook everything, but the sausage itself is really nice. We're just destroying everything. The vegetables are all perfectly cooked. And this potato dish is really interesting because it's got like this silky, creamy texture to it and it tastes really good. It's about as good as, as like a hash brown type of dish can get, I oh, would say. Really good, really, really good nice. potatoes they use. It. Yeah, everything's going very well together. Oh, I'm yeah. very happy with our decisions tonight. Oh yeah. Nice job. Yeah, Switzerland. Dinner was awesome, but we are absolutely stuffed. We ate everything, everything. that they gave us. I'm so proud of us. <laughs> yeah. But I hope you guys enjoyed coming along on our little impromptu food tour today. Yeah, we tried. We had a blast. All sorts of things, local things, traditional, not so traditional. It was all delicious though. Yeah. And of course, I know we may have some uh, Swiss people watching. So if you know what you think are better places to get these dishes, or if you have specific dishes that we weren't able to try today that you think we should try, leave a comment down below and maybe we can try them next time we are in Switzerland or maybe other people who are traveling through or watching this video can try it as well. Yeah. Well, we are so sad that yeah. our time here is coming to an end. Tomorrow we fly to Poland, which we're excited about that though. It'll be our first time there and we cannot wait to explore. Yeah. We are plum tuggered out though, so we're we are going to go straight to bed. Good night adventures. We'll see you on the road.